Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with surviving as a trader, surviving Mars, and we're going to take our fleet out for a test drive. So let's get started. All right, so battery wise, our own is looking decent. Um, battery in here, can I get to it? Yeah. Wow, we're pretty charged up in the one we're flying. This one, oop, it's getting there. Close to 100%. Well, this one's 100%. That is at 85. That's not bad. And this is at 50%. Okay. We're good enough to test this and play around with. So let's just do that. So we switch lock that. We can go to the batteries and auto it. We should change this actually. CD bats. Close that door. <laughs> just to be a little polite. And we can switch lock this thing as well. Unlock. And our batteries right here. We're going to do auto for now. And you get your doors shut as well. Okay. <laughs> now with collision avoidance on, we should be okay to play around with actually prematurely close the door. But now we can play around with our AI blocks and just turn them on. And same with you. We're going to turn you on as well. <laughs> on you go. Okay. So you should be primed and ready to maneuver. I'm going to jump in this thing right here. And fly away. Just a tad. Ooh. Don't, don't hit each other now. You have collision avoidance on. Ouch. Don't you have collision avoidance on? <laughs> Can you not have two together? Why did you run into it like that? You broke a thruster of your partner. You break your own you broke your own thrusters too. Great. Why did you have to, do you have to be that close? Can you not work together better? <laughs> you have collision avoidance on. Yeah, collision on. So why? And I'm going to fall in a few seconds because of hydrogen problems. And not sure why you decide to hit each other. Do you have to fly this close to each other? Um, can we, can we, can we control one of you guys and not do this? <laughs> can you separate a little bit? Um, have a little bit of separation. That was a little bit much. I, okay. So I don't think, ouch, 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 ouch. I don't think we can have two at the same time. <laughs> I mean, looks fine now, but once I stop. No, I don't know what that was about earlier on that. They just decided to hit each other pretty hard and kind of break some thrusters. I don't know which thrusters broken the front thruster here. All right, we're okay. A car container is a little busted, but that's not that bad. Where is the other one that's up there? Okay. You are the other one, right? Yeah, you're. I see you're smoking. Thruster back here. And you need to stop moving so I can get on top. Ooh. Okay, you're good. Um, ouchie. <laughs> we need it. Uh, display. And we should be good. Okay. You, I'll fix your front here. As long as you don't move. Oh, it wasn't even the car container. It was just the window itself. All right. Let's fly back to our ship. And I swear, once I turn around, they're going to hit each other once again. Ooh. All right. They are not hitting each other now. 
Okay, that's not bad. Okay, did they finally get a sense of avoiding each other? <laughs> We're just doing a bit of a dance here, huh? Okay, I think, I think we're good. <laughs> I want to hope so. Um, where were we before? Masterton's Folly and Davidson Services. Masterton's Folly, I think we got some, but not all the materials that we wanted to get. So let's fly to Davidson Services first and see if we gathered anything there. I don't think we did, but since we got the two crazy um cargo drones potentially is gonna hit each other again <laughs> for whatever reasons we'll we'll deal with that when it comes but it looks like they're kind of avoiding each other now they're just flying above each other or one above the other i should say and doing okay <laughs> so yeah not sure why the initial one i guess they were too close for whatever reason just went boom so Waste of parts, but whatever. Alright, so they are a little bit behind. Six kilometers away. Or, yeah. Wait, no. What am I saying? Six meters away. Six kilometers would be way, way too far. But 600 meters away and slowly coming to me. I, I'm okay with that. It's not that, that bad. And I'm just flying a lot faster than they are, to be honest. Because they need to check themselves through AI. But one of them potentially will fall and crash because the lack of um, power. But 50% should be more than enough, I would think. Or you would think. <laughs> Alright, so we can land this guy anywhere close to the main station. Which will give us plenty of room to just land. And our ships are here. That was pretty quick, actually. All right, I'm going to drop you down here and you guys just, I don't know if you hit each other, but there's a chance you guys did. I'm going to go in the terminal here and call you CD1. Although you might be CD2, now you're CD1. <laughs> and you're going to be CD2 there. Okay, you guys are not hitting each other, which is great. Um, I do need to do this though. I have to turn you off so I can control you remotely. So that's the downside of this specific um, drone situation. Uh, power wise, you still got. Ooh. I don't know what that was about, but <laughs> hit the ground and I fell off my ship somehow. I th that that was kind of weird, but anyways, you are CD2, but we need to turn off your AI pieces. So we're going to oop, not go that way. Yeah, you have a door open. <laughs> a little dignity, a little bit of dignity here um, and close your door, please. Oop. all right, whatever. All right, turn the dampeners off. And yes, I usually would close the doors, but we're going to open them because we're going to dump some stuff in here anyways. <laughs> and I think I caught myself carrying stuff too, which is not great. All right. So whatever. So you guys seem to be okay. You didn't hit each other once again. You got flow really, really close to each other, but at least it didn't hit. We're good there. It looks like I've been here before to gather some stuff. But not everything, so whatever's in the barn <laughs> can be taken. And we didn't get everything out of the main station right over there. But we're going to head over to this antenna piece, salvage this up, and get going from there. So basically, I was just going to test how well they can work together. And by they, I mean <laughs> it's the drones. And it worked okay, except for the... Ooh, Except for the very beginning where it just crashed and broke stuff in the very beginning. After that, it's it's fine. It maneuvered away from each other, kind of. Not really. <laughs> so, 
I don't know it's if it's gonna ever avoid each other, but probably not. Alright, so this was the base with all the little rovers, actually. Completely forgot about that. And I guess we could just salvage it. <laughs> Not a fan of salvaging small grid because it takes forever for the amount of material you get out of it. But, I mean, it's not that bad. With a level 3 grinder, at least. <laughs> And the funny thing is I could potentially just hook up these um, drones with batteries into our ship here. One of the cargo um, <laughs> drones too if we want to get the extra battery out of this as a resource. But kind of not worth it. <laughs> you risk breaking stuff than actually gaining um, from the battery. So let's just get rid of them. Alright, so that takes care of everything around the main station, I think. Took care of like antennas or turbine. Yeah, I've got everything except for that right there, which might not be anything. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so the more hefty thing is going to be this antenna. And I guess we can start working from top down. <laughs> a little scary that I'm doing it this way, but it could work. <laughs> well, here's a nice big old battery with power. Hmm. And that's 80 power cells, so taking it down might not be worth it. Keeping it might be a better idea. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> there's a chance we're never going to be back here anyway, so would it matter? I mean, merge block or connector it and use it to charge up a current ship. Maybe. I I think it's not necessary, but it's hard to just <laughs> not use that power and, and waste the power cells. That's the biggest problem I have. Right, so unfortunately, and I don't know how, but I only have one health left. <laughs> no food, no med kits, no survival kit, and I'm going to be seeing red for a while. So let's, hopefully we can collect the rest of this stuff as quickly as possible and not get ourselves killed. And then we can head out and back to base. All right, so I don't need the battery, but we could just leave it here. And unfortunately, I didn't even need the other cargo ships as well. So 
that's going to be... <laughs> that's the interesting piece. I think this cargo ship was more than enough. Yeah. For a pretty big base like that. But we took the haul already. So that's probably why. Uh, we didn't need multiple um, cargo ships. It looks like we have a standalone piece right over here that we just gather for minimal parts. Alright, so that should be it. Um, time to head back and hopefully I don't kill myself because it's going to be a ways and ways head back here. Alright. Um, we are good here. Turn on dampeners. We're going to fly back a little bit. Turn on our friendly drones. So we're going to do AI blocks on. And AI block, oops, AI blocks on already on this guy. CD2, where's the AI block on as well? And there we go. Ooh, don't, don't, don't hit each other. Okay, you guys did learn to not ram each other, so that's a good thing, I guess. Um, good. No ram each other because you, you're technically siblings. <laughs> Where's home? <laughs> I mean, we still could hit up Masterson's Folly, but um, my power is, is running low right now because of, I guess, how much stuff I have on me. Ooh, so four batteries and having all this stuff on me is what's killing my battery. Wow. So that's pretty much why our initial cargo drone didn't make it back. Um, I think our base is down that way. Nine kilometers. Nine kilometers away. Right there. Right there. Okay, so we're going to head back home. Charge. Ooh, you hit each other. I hope not too hard. <laughs> All right, we head back home, drop off our stuff. And okay, so we learned our lesson. We can't fly two drones at the same time because they have collision problems. Actually, a good solution to that problem. Hold on. We're going to stop this. And hopefully don't hit each other. But there is a good solution to this. Once I get closer, we can stagger them. So we don't need to have them both at... 50 distance from me and please don't don't do that <laughs> stop please all right so our it was a flight move move minimum altitude blah blah all right so you need to be a little bit further this is cd1 yeah so you could be like 75 further away and the other one's 50. So that way we can stagger the difference and not have them collide like that. And I think that's going to work. So we can have multiple, multiple car containers this way. Okay. So that works out pretty well. Let's head back home. Get um, healed up. Do one last trade and sell. And good to go. All right, we made it back to base. We're pretty decent. Uh, we do need to get healed up. Our ships being a little bit staggered is working out pretty well. So little mosquitoes flying and following me around, I guess. And it's not too bad. All right, I'm going to charge up and heal up on the survival kit right over here. Although the medical bay or medical room is a lot better in the room. Um, we're too lazy to go back in because of the manual airlock system that we have going on all right so we need more docking stations because now we have too many ships actually yeah i thought that was a connector for some reason which is not <laughs> um all right ships yeah staggered is much better um should have thought that a lot sooner <laughs> but it's okay actually i need the groups of the ai blocks right here I'll go on and off. So off you go. So now I can remote into this guy. 
and we'll get you connected right there um yeah we'll flip you around There we go. Spin you around just a tiny bit. And get you connected. Next up is this one. We don't have a connector. But we could build it right here if we wanted to. Since we have the space. Honestly a bit of an odd placement. But it's going to have to do. In this case. And same thing with this one. I need the, the blocks here. Turn it off. And then that way we can control this thing remotely. And I am liking this one that has tons and tons of power. All right, so this is going to be landing right here. Ooh, ooh, I thought I had it pretty nicely. I guess not. All right, so this is going to be plopped on right over there. And we're good to go. So now we have one, two, three double cargo container ships drones whatever you want to call it we could just slap on a saddle and ride these things if we needed to <laughs> but we are not going to do that i'm going to leave them as drones for now as they're pretty helpful um to collect stuff if we hit up more bigger bases i think there might be more bigger bases to hit um eventually but like i said i am looking into maybe putting the npc mods in here so that's going to make it even more interesting and more cargo to get to contain <laughs> just to to salvage i should say but for now i think we are good to go we successfully made a really really buggy not so great printing machine which we already dismantled because it's not worth keeping obviously but of course two drone systems being able to follow me carry some cargo excellent so one of the biggest tips and learning from just doing it just before is stagger the distance of the follow me so then it doesn't collide with each other that much or as much I should say. So definitely do that and you can have a nice fleet following you that way. Okay so gold ores are back in the market. Iron ores as well. Not ores. Ingots unfortunately and it's pretty expensive but we, we do need it, so that's a bit of, of a problem. So, we'll just purchase that. That's about a mil. That's not too bad. Uh, I don't think I'll buy more gold. That's not too much. Alright, we're just going to do it anyways. <laughs> and we have about 4 million liters of this stuff. <laughs> this stuff, this hydrogen. So, that should, that should couldn't go all in here. That's fine. What else is there? Silver ore. Ooh, that's going to cost a significant chunk as well. Sure, why not? And I think we're good there. So we could sell stuff, but not just yet because we are still using material. So we went from nearly 20 million back down to 9 million. Great. <laughs> And I've never really understood the storms and sandstorms or whatever the case is. Why is it inside? <laughs> and what's interesting is there is a bounty contract. Never seen these before during my playthrough. But finally, something different. So this is paying 101,000 space credits for 30 reputation. And you get an hour to do this. And it reads as with the absence of organized law enforcement, the responsibility falls to individual factions to make sure that criminals do not go unpunished. With that said, we had received reports of the location of one such culprit, and we need you to make an example of them so that others are not tempted down the line. Oh, tempted down the same path. Find and take the target down. Use handheld weapons or tools for the full reward. Huh? <laughs> you will be kept up to date of the latest reported position of your target. I would think one hour it's going to take me somewhere in space. That's like really, really far for no apparent reason. So 
we're not going to accept it right this moment, but good to know that it is there and we could do it. All right, so not much going on in the trading aspect of the economy base, so not much to do there. Ooh, I'm just bouncing around everywhere. Great. <laughs> All right, so if we wanted to think about hitting up something else, we can grab our daily driver and link up the two, or maybe just one. I think one for now and head over to a base just to get a little bit more parts since we do have a bunch of spots to go to. <laughs> So we gotta hit up some other ones that are probably close by just to double check if we got everything. I think Wasp Ridge is one of them that we may not have gotten everything out of it. So we can always go there really quickly. So I think this one right here has got a decent chunk of batteries. Yep, it has got a decent chunk of batteries. So I'm gonna take that one out for a ride. I'm gonna take this one out just because of the missile launchers and the ro well rockets as they call it now. So we're going to take the rockets with us and kind of load it up for now. And hold on to it as well. And then we can head off. We have full hydrogen, three days of batteries, so we should be good to go. Turn on the atmospheric thrusters, unlock. And our daily driver is ready to rock and roll. So let's gonna fly this guy a little bit over. I think towards Wasp Ridge. We've been there before, I believe. But we're gonna have to gather some of the stuff that we didn't gather just yet, too. So lots of spots to really hit up. But of course, now that we can have enough storage space, um, we can take we can use that to our advantage right now. All right, so I'm going to lock this guy here and we could go to the terminal. Okay, well, we went to terminal or the or remote into it, but we'll turn this on so it does a follow me action and we'll jump in our daily driver and uh, hopefully it'll follow us. Let's see, will it? Yep, taking off. Perfect. So that's exactly what we wanted. All right, so we're going to head over to Wasp Ridge really quickly and hopefully our cargo buddy is gonna follow along but also i do believe we did hit up wasp ridge if not then we should slow down just a tad <laughs> zoom in and see if that was taken care of if because if not then we're likely gonna get shot down a little bit which is not going to be fun all right so let's just slow down i'm gonna camera zoom in and looks like we just left battery so okay never mind boss bridge is not the way to go did we not hit up this little gatlin <laughs> all right so whatever let's go somewhere else we should really mark these things so boss bridge is taken care of so we just make it mark it with the x um I think Davidson Services, we did the same thing. Is there anything else we could hit up? Buffalo Camp, Badger Camp. I think those are some places we haven't been to yet. So we could go there. Simpsons Claim, uh, Butterfly Ridge. Those are all kind of new ones, I think. Uh, there's MNT there. And Grasshopper Ridge, which I think we did Grasshopper Ridge once before in a snake camp. If we go that way, at least we can see we hit them up before or not. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, it looks like we might not have gone here once before. Grasshopper Ridge. It sounds familiar for some reason. <laughs> but I'm surprised that it looks like I haven't really did anything with this spot. Um, Yeah, I definitely did not take care of this at all. So... So good spot to be in to take. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here, actually. And there's a lot of turrets, too. So we got to be a bit careful. Um, that could be a turret, but I cannot really see too much of it. So that's going to be a problem, I think. Let's kind of zoom in or go in a little bit. Same time. This shouldn't fire at me to about 600, I would hope. And I'm hoping that my 
buddy behind me is not going to get too close because that's not going to be fun for that thing. All right, so we are at 700 meters away. So hopefully that's a one hit, one kill, one shot, one kill situation. And that thing's up in smokes, I believe. So, or not, completely obliterate it. <laughs> this we can hit target right up there or we hit the base, which will knock out most of the stuff anyways. But let's just take out, take it out from the top. I don't know if that's completely gone. We're going to shoot it one more time just in case. I don't want any issues with that one. All right, that's definitely down now. And I hope there's other ones. I hope there's none that I can't see. We have a turret right here. We'll take that one out. And then we'll take this one out too. The missiles are pretty much, or rockets, are a really good go-to <laughs> for taking out turrets. Um, unless you miss like that. But my loading action, <laughs> or reloading, not that great. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we didn't hit these, but we'll just re-aim them. That should hit it right there, unless I'm too far away. I'm too far away, actually. So we should be... Ooh, 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 ooh. It's aiming, it's aiming at us. Back it up, back it up. Alright. That one we gotta be careful of, because that one starts shooting us at 800. So what we can do is get close. Let's get 800 or 700 or so and fire at it and strafe away from it. So we should be okay. Ooh, we missed. But that's not good. Oh, 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 hold on. We're out of missiles. Or rockets. <laughs> Ooh, we took a little bit of beating up front over there. I think we should lower our friend behind us. Where is he? Right there. <laughs> Actually, I think he should be all right. We right, just got to creep in just a little bit more. I'm going to shoot twice just in case. All right, that's a direct hit. Ooh, did I accidentally hit that one too? Which would be perfect. No, not really. <laughs> all right, so there we go. That should take out that rocket or that Gatlin, hopefully. No, looks like we missed once again. We'll get a little closer and hopefully that shoots it down. That should do it. Okay, I think that should be all the turrets except for the one right there. But I got to reload. <laughs> yeah, terrible reload action right there. But <laughs> what are we going to do about that? We should use the reloadable rockets, obviously. But we don't have a good placement for it just yet. We're going to have to figure it out sooner or later. And I just missed that one. We're just going to double load it up now. Oop, that was a little too much. Ooh, that blew up. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I hope that was all the turrets. I think so. We could get surprised by one, but if it does, oh wells. <laughs> but we're going to land... Pretty close to the center, because that's where pretty much everything is. There's a lot of spots here. I'm glad I brought the drone so that we can collect some stuff too. So both the drone and my sh current hydrogen ship here should be able to take care of um, most things here. And it looks like not everything is on the gas. Why? Let's see here. So left, right. What is this? Up, up. All right, save that. Now turn it all off. Turn everything all off. So we are good. Okay, perfect. We definitely need an antenna for our daily driver too. Because then we are going to need some kind of power management. Um... Yeah, we're going to need some kind of power management for for the drone, cargo drone. And how come... Huh, that's interesting. I thought we had the grouping right over here, unless it turns... 
Unless it goes away every time we disconnect. No, it shouldn't be. That's so weird that that happened. All right, so we only got like 14, 15 hours on this thing. That's pretty bad. I don't think this thing can make it back at the rate of, you know, of everything. So it flies okay. It def definitely uses a lot of um, energy. But the crazy thing is that it has six batteries and just that flight itself took out a few percentage nothing too much it was like 80 something and now it's like 70s and that's close to 50 60 percent close to 50. that's a little much i think kind of odd especially that there is a um a reactor on this thing and it's <laughs> and it's not really producing that much power that's kind of weird, but we can use our, we have two of these for some reason. All right. So we just get rid of one. Let's just recharge, I guess. Yeah. I'll recharge off of the reactor this way, but yeah, it's kind of odd, but not much we can do about it. <laughs> all right. So let's just start jacking or salvaging all the stuff here. So then that we can get more parts. Did not know that happens. So I accidentally grinded down <laughs> the ammo and it just blew up in my face. That's new to me. And I doubt I brought coffee and any food. So that is not a good sign. Actually, the food should be in my body, I hope. Um, coffee, I don't think I... Okay, good. We did bring food. Okay. Whew. So now, the only problem here is sleep. Which we should be okay in terms of, like, kind of just sitting down on a chair in one of the hab stations. Um, don't know why we never bring coffee <laughs> with us, but we really should. Alright, so don't grind down <laughs> your magazine boxes. It'll blow up in your face. So that was interesting <laughs> to learn. All right, so let's start on the furthest away hab station, I guess we can say, and see what's here. It looks like we got a few things like the lockers and such, but it uh, looks like there's a seat here, so we can always huddle around that really quickly to get some more sleep. I mean, there's a bed here, but we can't use it because we're not in a pressurized area, so... Let's sit here, sit tight for a quick few minutes so we can recover. All right, I think that's more than enough. 39% of sleep should be good enough, I think. I hope. <laughs> Oop, did not mean to tear that down like that, but that's fine. Uh, got some ammo, rifles, perfect. So little bits of loots here and there, so it's not too bad. We can come back over here to grab the rest of the stuff if we want. But it is quite far. I should really... How far can I... Ooh, I could. <laughs> Hoping to be able to grab this thing. Um, Where is it? What's going on here? Oh, right. Our batteries are on recharge. So let's do auto. Perfect. Now, we got to spin it. That flies our way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Definitely should have added a camera in there. <laughs> so I'm just controlling this like an RC basically and not being able to see a thing. 
So I think we are good right there. Okay. And we could do the block grouping of batteries to toggle recharge. So let's just toggle recharge and recharge off of the um, reactor. So we should be good there. And we could always throw in everything in here as well. Wow, I ran out of hydrogen. Huh, interesting. All right, so we're going to keep on scrapping as we can. And we're just going to knock that roof i was about to say ceiling roof down and sandwich it but we're gonna since we got our ship here now which is the best part of having a remote controlled drone ship is that we can grab it and move it closer as quickly as possible actually having me travel back and forth so that was a, definitely a good idea when it comes to that piece so let's just grab the rest of these steel plates and we can move on to the antennas and actually get a little closer to the main base and start scrapping the rest of it. All right, antenna's done, so we can head back. So when I say head back, I mean right over there. So basically, we could just hoverboard on this thing, if anything. So that kind of works out. Um, we're just going to head backwards a bit. And the furthest station is that right over there. Ooh, let's build it this way. Uh, let's put it in between. Well, we still got that refinery out there, but... I don't think we need to really get that, do we? Probably not. I think this will do. Of course, we got to bring it down. Okay, it's going to recharge. And yeah, let's just grab whatever this is. It looks like a refinery and all that stuff. Yep, the refinery assembler, I think, is here. Nope, two basic refineries. Interesting. Decent steel plates, lots of steel plates. And the next part is where's that thing? Don't have a lot of hydrogen spare, but oh, that's a little too far. We'll get it anyways. Little big old ball here. Not a lot of materials, so kind of not worth it. Okay, so that's done with. And we got three station-like things right over here. So we can call on our ship once again to get closer because we have no hydrogen. <laughs> or much hydrogen left. Yeah, I think I parked it pretty far away, actually. Um, Actually, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to walk closest to it and take down what's over there first or what's over here first.
All right, so it's storming, and I'm kind of contemplating ish if I should head back now or wait until the storm passes. I feel like if I head back now, we have we, our ship is gonna struggle a bit, and by the ship I mean the cargo ship behind us. So basically, even if I controlled into it, oh, that's not controlling into that. Ow! <laughs> Interesting. So, um, that's not working as a remote control for some reason. Did we break the connect? No, we didn't break anything. Okay, so we're in good shape there. I thought we broke it. Yes, luckily, we didn't. Okay, so if we go to control... That one, turn on power. Four hours. Three hours if we fly with it. We're not necessarily bottoming out. So that's not too bad. I think we might just be able to make it which is a little bit scary and worrying too because it's holding a lot of stuff we're gonna risk it for the biscuit in this case so turn on follow me um jump in our cockpit we're gonna have to find where home is which is right there five kilometers away i think we should be in good shape i believe i want to hope so <laughs> and head back home without any problems so we're heading this way but let's see is our friend going to follow us no because something is not right with it <laughs> ai behavior is on follow me yeah we're we're good here so are you gonna come Okay, glitched out for a bit, but I did tell it to follow me, so it should be turning around and coming close. Okay, so that's not bad. I hope, and really do hope, that it has enough power and juice to get back. It should, but I feel like it may take that dip that we don't want it to do. <laughs> but we did get a big score of stuff. So that's the good news. Bad news is that it's my O2 HD system on. No, it's not. Okay, good. <laughs> Wait, I can't see a thing. Yeah, I'm hoping it didn't fall. Okay, it is tailing behind pretty badly now. So there's a chance that it may have crashed. 130, 130 kilometers away. Yeah, there's a chance that it crashed. I hope not, and I hope it will just pop up in front of me once I start slowing down right over here. And we should slow down a little bit harder right around here. And we could land down in the shield for now if we want to be careful of bottoming out in the ground like I'm about to do right there. <laughs> But luckily, we're in a safe zone, so that's not going to be too damaging. All right, we can land ourselves right here. Oh, we are a little off. And there we go. Okay, we're going to power everything off and connect. And now we're going to see if... Oh, it's here. It is here. It's here. <laughs> My boy made it. <laughs> Alright, so you're coming with me. Hello? Oh, wait. Turn that off. Okay, there we go. You did make it. Nice. I don't want to get have you come down too fast. Especially on top of one of my other ships. We need to put some decoys because the storm is it's lightning a bit now which is not something we've had seen too too much of in recent times all right so we're gonna have to try to line you up this way 
without really being able to see too much. All right, the controls. Ooh, okay. It does hitting down a little bit hard, so we should. Nope, we're a little too far to see this, but okay, we weren't that bad. <laughs> I thought I, I, it skipped over it and nothing happened, but we didn't even get close enough at all. There we go. We are good to go right there. I'm not sure what happened to all the kind of blocks here. I think once we lock in, come out, unlock it again. Wait, hold on. Where's the connector? Switch lock and try to connect again. Is it going to save the button? Yeah, it saves the button. So I'm not sure why it didn't. Huh. Interesting. All right. So everything should be offloaded, I think. Well, if not, then we're going to have to do it ourselves. And that's a lot of stuff there. Um, in terms of the, sh in terms of like ingots, ores and stuff, pretty decent haul. So that's all emptied out. So once again, pretty lucky to get this thing back, <laughs> especially from this crazy storm. All right. So we're going to tell this thing to charge up a bit. Not too bad. I got 60%, 50%. All right. That wasn't too, too bad. And me being away for a while, has this thing recharged a bit? It, it has not recharged too, too much, but it's not even on recharge. So that's probably why, <laughs> but should be okay. Let's get into the cockpit right here. And what's in this ship? So we have a lot of stuff in the cockpit itself. So I'm going to offload that. Some stuff we can't offload because it's um, too big. And I think we only got small parts going on here for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> all right, just load all that in there. And we have a bunch of stuff on ourselves. So we can just dump it in here. Grab these from the cockpit. Dump the rest. And... Don't know if I still have tofu. I still have one left. Oh, where to go? <laughs> Somebody ate it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we should have a decent amount of stuff. Um, I think a few things refining. No, not nothing refining. Okay, anything producing? Nope. Everything is being produced or has been produced, so we are in good shape there. So, sounds like something we gotta do is go sell some stuff to replenish our account balance. <clears throat> Alright, first things first. Any new acquisitions or other stuff? Bounty still here, which is awesome. Really want to do the bounty, to be honest. But it's so far away, I'm a little bit worried if I need to jump drive or not. But yes, let's stick with acquisitions really quickly to see if we can return anything to make decent money out of it. All right, now we got 12 mil, I think from nine mil, so about three mil more. And in terms of buying stuff, still no ore in sight. That's pretty interesting. All they're selling me is ingots, so they make me burn my money basically. Oh, uranium ore, finally. That's not too bad. Silver, we'll buy some silver. I think that's gonna be worth it. Organics will buy as well. We need it for the herbs. And we'll check on the herb production soon. Gold. Um, why not? Okay. I think we're good here. Selling wise. Let's just sell everything that we can. I think we have a good chunk of iron for most things. 
And that should be it. We could sell herbs if we want to for 75 a piece. But if we had 2,000 or so, we could make a chunk of money that doing that. 2,649 um, times 75. So total... Uh, so if we sold the total of the 2,649 pieces, we could make close to 200,000, which is not a lot, <laughs> but could be worth it. I mean, I don't know where my herbs are, but I would imagine we don't have too, too much of it. At least not 2 million worth, I would think, but funding wise now I got, hmm. 11 million after buying and selling everything so still made some money after buying what we wanted to buy so that's a good thing i think that's crackling is the ending of the storm <laughs> i would hope so at least and yeah so that is salvaging scavenging mission number i don't know five maybe <laughs> maybe even more than that but success because we got back with our drone and it didn't crash and burn so we're in good shape so daily driver with the missiles will take out the ships the ships the bases and we can have a fleet of drones if we wanted to to carry more stuff back home but of course they need a little bit more power so i think i might add a few more batteries or maybe even reactors to the drones because it does get scary when it's completely filled with cargo all right so before we go Let's just check on our farm station. So I did queue up a whole bunch of soya or soy to be um, produced because I did want to make more tofu soup. And for our herbs, we're just trying to make as much herb production as possible. So right now we have 380, which is pretty good. The soya, not as crazy, but we're getting there i guess um yeah so it's the production of it is it's quite slow so it is what it is but i'm gonna grab a few for myself just so we could produce some tofu soup if anything the herbs we just let it grow as is do we have any more tofu here no we only have apples actually no what do we have in here here we have this the coffees and everything like which we should really put in the ships in the cockpit at least <laughs> all right so if we get to cooking we can make tofu soup we need tofu and ice Ooh, we need cabbage and so okay so we can't we need cabbage and herbs so cabbage it's been a while since i actually seen cabbage so that's a problem but i do need ice as well so let me get some ice wherever that's gonna be Let's grab 100 ice. We should be good. Do we have cabbage? No, I think the cabbage is in the other base, unfortunately. So I might have to travel back once again to get some, some of that thing going. So here's the soy. Here's some ice. Should be able to make some tofu. Why is it saying disabled? What's going on here? We have ice and tofu is our kitchen off. Yeah, it's off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now our production should be running. Okay, so we're going to make our tofu. So we need cabbage in order to make our tofu soup. So we should get some cabbage from our... I think this actually works as an airlock. Just having this to decompress... It's not destroying my things and telling it to, to, to turn off. So I guess that works. All right. So grabbed a little bit of sleep first before we proceed. But yeah, it looks like that worked out pretty decently. So all we need to do is just make some kind of automation for this to close before we open this up, I think. Yeah. I would think so. So that's interesting way to keep oxygen. So it loops inside, right? So it gives oxygen and it sucks out the oxygen because of the depressurization. So it does a loop and it does keep the oxygen running, right? Yes. 
<laughs> Whatever. So then if that is the case, then we just need to have an open door opening and closing door situation. All right. So let's try to get some cabbage. So how are we going to do that? Do we have our simple saddle ships? No, we don't. We don't even have. Oh, wow. That's interesting. We don't even have any rovers here for some reason. Okay. So I guess we're going to take our daily driver out really quickly. Just try to get the cabbage and come back actually we might be able to get everything from the old kitchen which we should do that too so let's just hit there and then get our cabbage head back all day. No, I think we're okay. All right, so we might just call it and it end right over here. Um, since we have a bed here and an airlock system. But next time we get back to the other base, I think that should be it. But yeah, if we can grab the rest of the herbs from the farm. Can we grab it from here? Yes, we can. Let's just grab everything from that farm. Looks like we forgot some stuff. Which is fine. Ooh, we got our mushrooms. Let's take all the ice as well. Hopefully we don't... Um, what do we call it? Fill our inventory up too much. Actually, we can because we have the... What do we call it? Nearby anyways. So we should be okay. Okay, so that's done. Let's grab everything for the kitchen if we can. Hopefully we could. Yep, we're good. Got some cabbage. So we got to grill some more cabbages. For our tofu soup. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's good. So next time around, we'll bring this back to our base. I think we're just going to stay here and call it a day. And that should be it. But of course, if you guys did enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.